Hi, I'm Judy Cayo, a member of Epworth. In the 1990s, when I was the youth director, I needed to move a TV on a rolling cart from the library to the youth room. To do that, I had to push it out of the library, up the aisle of the sanctuary, out the doors, down the ramp, around the building, in the Hopkins entry, through the fellowship hall, and down the back hall to the youth room. And I'm grateful to Jean Olson for even making that possible. You see, in the 1970s, she and I and others were in a class called Experiment in Practical Christianity. As a result of that study, Jean started volunteering at the Center for Independent Living in Berkeley. She brought to Epworth the idea of building a ramp to make our spaces more accessible. Imagine the building without even a ramp. Thank you, Jean. When Kristen suggested our theme for the elevator campaign, You Raise Me Up, I thought of many Epworth folk who had made a difference in my life and the life of our community. One of those was Alice Crooks, who was an elder in our church when I was a young adult. She started a food collection program at Epworth and eventually collaborated with the Friends Church in Berkeley and the program became part of the Berkeley Food Pantry. That program has been going for 50 years now. Another person who was important in my life was Bill Tramplesher. He was my high school Sunday school teacher and he encouraged me to ask big questions and helped me see that it was not only okay, it was a vital part of growing in faith and as a person. I'm grateful to them and so many others. Thinking back to the rolling cart on the TV, now imagine if you were in Epworth in a wheelchair in worship or having difficulty going up and down the stairs. It's a long way to get to coffee hour. We have the opportunity once again to make our church more accessible and welcoming to members of our congregation and the community. Now Don Ariola Burrell and Charlotte Rubens are going to share stories of people who have inspired or raised them up. As you watch and listen, I hope you will consider who has raised you up in your life and how you might contribute to our legacy at Epworth. Thank you. Hi, my name is Don Ariola Burrell and I am a member here at Epworth United Methodist Church. And I uh, would like to read you something here. Okay, this is a quote from a gentleman um, who was a teacher and mentor to me many, 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 many years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the quote reads, continue to learn to love and to recognize the God in each man, and you will be a great man. Your friend and coach, Steve. 13 didn't mean a whole lot to me, but today those words do. Steve Phelps was an amazing man, and if there was ever a man who could lift you up, motivate you, and move you, it was Steve Phelps. Thanks, Steve. I'm on the ramp I had built when Emily and I first moved into our house in 1986. I had promised my good friend, Kitty Cohn, who had muscular dystrophy and was a quadriplegic, so was in a wheelchair, that our house would be accessible. I met Kitty in 1979 when Emily and I moved to California. I had no friends here, no job, and had just gone through some difficult personal times. After we met, we quickly became fast friends. She was an amazing organizer and disability rights activist, pushing governments to level the playing field. You can read about her accomplishments online. Throughout our 35 plus year fr friendship, Kitty lifted me up by being a constant inspiration, having faith and confidence in my willingness and ability to do all kinds of things I had never done before. She was always encouraging, supportive, sympathetic, creative, and hilarious. I somehow was able to find stage and sound for a demonstration she led. I became an electrician installing her ceiling lights and hot tub her chauffeur to Mexico helping her find a house and someone to help her adopt her son, and a co-conspirator in myriad other exploits over the years. Kitty passed on in 2015. I miss her terribly, but I'm grateful for having had her in my life, helping me become who I am.